Someone's dark, twisted fantasy finally comes to an end. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed, and I'm here to cover the news. This is breaking news, or for some, not surprising to others, it is what it is. Okay, I have another intuitive message. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. What is the energy? Okay as the, someone's dark twisted fantasy leads to an end someone finally hits a rock bottom okay we have priority over purpose okay love is everything and i'll be damned if i'm swindled out of it from a narcissistic bitch i feel like someone is is their their karmic cycle or dramatic dramatic series and experiences de with dealing with bad mothers that's bad for strings of relationships, nasty women, nasty, women who are nasty in attitude, nasty in demeanor, arrogant, foolish, terrible. Don't make their contributions, don't know how to take the lead, don't know how to be loyal, don't know how to hold you down. They're just bullshit, full of shit. Turn that heat off. Okay, they just put the fire out. Okay. And that led to someone's spiritual awakening. It's over. It's over. It led to someone's spiritual awakening. And it's a priority over purpose. Something with white sage. But let's see. Let's, let's get the overall. Okay. It's a different energy now. It's a more spontaneous energy. So we're playing it by ear. And it still wanted to be. A seven of pentacles and the queen of wands the public defender well you come in it's like olivia pope olivia pope with the scandals with the nonsense okay with the the person who's coming in to clean up your the person's image so this next person coming in will be or you will be the olivia pope for somebody you will be cleaning up somebody's image you will be correct. You will be the healer because the queen of wands is spiritual. Okay. You will be the fighter. Okay. You will be nursing this person back to health with the 10 of pentacles. You will. Okay. And what's under that? Ace of swords. Correct. King of pentacles is underneath it. Someone will be inheriting their abundance. Okay, I'm tired of fighting myself. I'm tired of being in conflict. I'm tired of, I'm being ripped apart here going against my natural intuition okay when trying to show up for people when my intuition is telling me to just leave everything gets real quiet everything's very dark the house is dark there's a dark cloud over the space okay ten of swords i feel like someone stops drinking someone quit drinking congratulations okay nine of pentacles they start really taking care of themselves they i feel like they hired help with the nine of pentacles to help them on their journey as they made the decision to cut ties with all devilish ways with the devil's handiwork something like that What I say? Someone stopped drinking. Because it led to so many other addictions. Okay. Congratulations. You're hitting milestones. That's the, that's a graduation for somebody. The day trader. Okay. Seven of Swords. Futility. Okay. It's time you get real with yourself. That's what I see with the Seven of Swords. It's like stop lying. You stop lying to yourself. You stop procrastinating. You stop bullshitting. That turned that will. That will of fortune with the Ten of Wealth. You were blocking your own blessings. Someone's coming to that realization. Someone's completely vulnerable right now, though. I see a lot of vulnerability. That's why the public defender is there. You are the pub. Is this Dr. Khadijah's reading? Dr. Khadijah is present. Okay. Dr. Khadijah is interviewing the people. Like Dr. Khadijah does the deals with the 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 psyche. Okay. Two of Swords. Peace. Peace over. Over fighting demons with the ten of swords with with ruin okay and look what's in reverse okay the seducer is in reverse 
I'm good, man. I can't do this no more. Okay? All this, looking at this, dealing with these people, led to this. Like, I can't. Like, there's too many attachments on me. I'm drowning. Welp. So what's the white sage? What is the white sage? The Madonna of Roses. Be your own hero. Okay. Queen of Hearts. You put that love back into yourself. Freaking beautiful. She is beautiful. I know we don't look at color women, but she is beautiful. Where's my notes? I don't need my notes. Do I need my notes? When I look at the white sage, you notice that she has some tears coming down her face a little bit. Okay. Coming out of conflict. Okay. I'm speaking in my gentle voice today because it's necessary. So in a reading, it's safe to let things unfold as they will. You don't need to fix anything, nor try to force something to happen. God is already working things out for you. There's no need to question your vision or your intention just because situations are working out differently to how you thought they would. Okay. Sometimes they say God has a sense of humor, okay? And I get three of pentacles energy with that, with that, okay? But you have insight. You see things that others can miss. You understand that to see what is true, you have to look beneath the surface. Your soul is a sage, a very wise one, okay, Sagittarius? You know the value of patience, even if it isn't always easy for you to be patient. Someone knows you have that sexy, that sex appeal, that ability to be savage, like hypersexual, like a sex symbol. But then you have a gentle side is what I'm getting from this because my tonality is like saying I'm on my, I'm in my own zone with the Madonna. And then you see the Madonna of Roses, the heart of a warrior. Madonna of Roses, okay? Like, you have made quite the living for yourself. And there's a way to be fierce that doesn't betray the kindness of your heart, is how I mean it. You know, when you know that to enable someone to behave badly towards you doesn't help them or you, you don't need to subject yourself to unnecessary guilt for taking care of yourself or fear that you aren't being compassionate. You know, you're teaching yourself and others the truth that love is based in respect. And I get the hermit card with that. You go, you went real quiet. May, someone may even feel like you ghosted them. You're very introverted, you know, and your your soul is a holy rose. Okay, that's what I mean. It's like you you are very fierce, but you're you have such a kind heart through it all that people mistake it. I feel like you're coming out of an abusive relationship or an abusive cycle somehow, whether it be with family, by blood or marriage. It's like you're teaching yourself and others about respect and that trying to take what doesn't belong to you through any form of aggression or manipulation, seduction or persuasion is neither loving nor respectful. Okay. Thorns are sharp because they need to be. And those thorns are on a rose. You are not a rose without the thorns. Dig. You know, they don't diminish the beauty of a rose. They protect it. You have those boundaries. You're not afraid to use them. Okay. It's like you go, you went through a lot of struggles early in life that kind, that kind of taught you where you, how to protect yourself. So you come out the house prepared, as they say, from those people or any type of situation that would try to cut you off from vitalities and what inspires you in life you don't you're not letting nobody box you in and there's a completion with that of that cycle with the four of wands and the graduation so that makes sense with the the king of pentacles you're very wealthy you're strong with the king of pentacles and the four of wands the fact that you know how to be your own damn hero okay with the, against deception, lies, deceit, trickery, people like mentally put you down, okay, or talk down to you. Ace of Swords, like who's your protector? The Most High, okay. Like this is harsh, and I get very independent energy. You're being, you're single, like you spend a lot of time by yourself, a lot. 
believing that you're worthy of an amazing life. You don't need to feel guilty or hold yourself back to make anybody else feel comfortable. You don't need to be timid or uncertain, worrying that you are becoming too much for someone else or asking too much from the most high. Living a great life is not about competition with anybody. Living a great life, in fact, helps inspire others to do the same. It doesn't take anything away from anybody else. So if you in a space and place in your life, like if your dreams scare you as well as excite you, it's a good sign. You know, you're giving yourself permission to do it. You go after what you want with that happy heart and you have to, you have every right to be proud of yourself. You have courage. You have, you have listened to, you followed your heart, even though sometimes it seems to be a harder choice to make. And you have, uh... Nine of Pentacles. You are the nine. It gives me Nine of Pentacles energy. You are successful because of it. Be, don't let nobody. This gives me family and by blood and marriage. All of them try to make you feel stupid. All of them try to break you down. But they end up, it reversed on them. I don't know what they did to manipulate the situation to make you go this way. But that's terrible. That's inhumane. Okay. Not your tribe of kindred fuck wrong with these people man <laughs> why you go pimp on them okay and then you have the queen of hearts okay so i feel like the queen of hearts does speak for himself in a lot of ways but that gives me ace of cups energy showing up as the queen of hearts it's like your heart has been chosen by the most high to be tempted for spiritual light and inner place where grace and healing can dwell this is like very special for you sag the wounded healer a temple is kept clean and pure, scented with sacred perfumes of incense, is what I see. It's like a room with a lot of candles or something that's real warm. It's made beautiful with, you know, with your feelings of reverence and a love for the spirit, for your spirit, like kept, and it's kept uncluttered and spacious so that as much as spiritual presence as possible, you know, can exist. It's about you declutter so much toxic bullshit so that you can you can live so you can be free so your spirit can shine so your spirit can show so you can attract the right people you know your soul tribe you dig you took the lead ace of swords is here against deception and trickery you dig and you're here your own energy is here with the will of fortune and the ten of wealth somebody's jupiter is in sagittarius the mind may believe that it has got the power to rule but in truth the heart is queen. You are a true goddess of love. Like one who consults the hearts for answers. You will courageously follow the guidance of your heart. Even when the mind doesn't want to surrender to the call of the heart. But it's almost ironic because Sag has got that reputation. We catch flights, not feelings. It's like we don't let anybody impact us, so to speak. That's the energy. But as you continue to honor the divine wisdom of your heart within your own life, you become empowered to help others learn to trust and grow through love. It's like somebody tried to trick you in a way where you showed up as a friend to somebody and they tried to strip you. It's like they didn't want to they didn't want to accept the help. They didn't want to accept the help. It's like they start draining you in the process because you're like very empathic. You got that healing energy. You come with the most high's energy. So with the most high seeing you being treated like that and you're a whole earth angel, it's a wrap. With the, the seven of pentacles, people are going to reap what they sow because you are, you fight, you fight with the, the queen of wands. Like you're showing up for some, remember I said in the beginning, you showing up for somebody who may have been struggling through something. And it was something with a failure. What is it now that I'm seeing something different with the seven of pentacles? Somebody failed to get on top of you and they're reaping what they sow. I guess that's how I see it. But initially when I saw that, it's like you're standing up for somebody, right? So let's tie all that together. Who You got someone, you got bamboozled in a way where it was so fucking draining on your spirit that... Someone was just being toxic for the sake of you being a kindred spirit or being a friend to them and being a healer. That's bullshit. It is. It's bullshit. Anyway. 
It's like you're called to clear your, your heart temple with forgiveness and have that gratitude and that love for for yourself to nurture your spirit so it can it pleases God at the end of the day. And you, you stand true to yourself like you are already a divine queen. Your heart aflames with a passionate purpose. You have a purpose and someone was hoping that they could fuck it up for you, but they couldn't disturb your peace. They couldn't. These illustrations tell such a graphic story, and I love these cards because of it. And lastly, it's like, she's freaking beautiful. I know we don't look at colored girls, but it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely boring. So somebody thought, that gives me justice, okay? Someone wants to marry you. With I see that with the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. I see you holding your own and now somebody wants to marry you. I, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's the same person. I think you graduated from one and you were trapped in something else. But with the justice, that was a crooked made straight with the reaping what you sow. You're, and you still that same public defender. Like you publicly defended this person and they publicly humiliated you. They're reaping what they sow. And you're, you are the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine and then the Ten of Pentacles. So that Tenth Pentacle could be somebody of wealth because you have established wealth and they're matching you with the Ace of Swords in between the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all match each other's wealth. Y'all match each other's spirit and y'all don't fight with the Five of Wands in reverse. There's no competition, no jealousy, no malice. You don't deserve that. You dig what I'm saying? And you're gonna you're you're about to celebrate with somebody. Like you are here to march to the beat of your own drum. You can be happy, you can be free, whether the world looks at you with awe, admiration, confusion, or love. It's like somebody's like, Yeah, I'm in love with Sag. I am whether the world looks at you with all admiration, confusion, or love, or all of it at once, everybody can love you. And it's like, no matter what they see you struggle through, it, some of you could be recovering addicts and they still see you establish peace. Like to see you come out of that, that, that space, to see anybody come out of that space is not easy. So to see anybody in their worst, like if you don't deserve me at my, if you can't take me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. That's what it's telling me. So somebody saw you go through many changes as these cards are spread out. You know, you're not doing things like this. If you used to do that, you're not doing things like that. And you're still beautiful. You're still beautiful. It's somebody who, even if you're not a Sagittarius sun, you got it in your chart. Heavy. Okay? You still got a warm heart. You still follow your heart no matter what. Okay? So he, I, don't, I feel like people don't always understand you, but being different doesn't have to mean being alone. It's only when you try to change yourself to fit into like a stereotype that you'll start to lose your way, become unhappy. And that's where I feel like this came into play. It's trying to be everything to everybody because you're a healer. You dig like you're here to help people. Somebody's watching this channel and now I can see tears coming down their eyes as they're listening to the words coming out of my mouth. Something about my voice is a familiarity and something about the words that I'm saying is a familiarity. You see those words, the, the tears? Yeah. This could have started for somebody at 23. They could have went down a different journey in life, went down a different path in life, and it just led them through so many changes. It's like they stopped fighting themselves. They stopped fighting progress. They stopped being an enemy to their progress with the five of wands in reverse. God doesn't want you to be with somebody else or to be someone else. He wants you to be you. You know, he always talks about telling the truth, even if it's against yourself. When you quit trying to fit in and enjoy being yourself, you win. Because you have to realize, Sash, normal is not for you. So don't be afraid of that. Deep down, you are the good kind of crazy and individual. If, you know, you would never be happy trying to be the same as everybody else. You have that inner sense of justice. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gives me karmic justice with that will of fortune and that ten of wealth. It's like, it, it, it reminds me of something 50 Cent said in his song, Gatman and Robin. He said, me being off landed me on top of charts. 
So you take the good with the bad, I guess. You dig what I'm saying? So you just have that, you have that way. Like you have a need to question authority when it doesn't earn your respect. It's like this, it, it can make some people uncomfortable while you, you're not afraid to challenge what is not worthy of you, you know, while it inspires others to think for themselves and not automatically assume that everything they're being told is correct. Like, don't just take things because people said it, like challenge it. We need more of this in our world. You dig what I'm saying? Like there's 7 billion people out there. Everybody's not going to be one and the same and you shouldn't want to be. This isn't a sign that something is wrong with you, but it's a sign of something special, a gift to see and express things differently. The world needs much more of, of you and that too. It was like your weird streak is a proverbial breath of fresh air. Go ahead, eccentric with the words. You just you just articulate it so beautifully. You you're just like you're preventing unimaginative collapse into the boredom of sameness. Like you're never the same every day. You're not. Like it's it's from it's from conformity and unapologetically being true to yourself and it means that you can dream up your own damn destiny and you don't have to worry about what anybody else has to say about it in fact that's p ultimate peace right there that's a peace of mind right there and god supports you every step of the way he's never told you no because he enjoys you just being you because you being you is all about him with the ace of swords here and that's what makes you absolutely beautiful. So if you want to wear anything on your face, over your head, or however way you look that's different from everybody else, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely boring. So let me put it to you this way. It's better to smell them fragrances than to smell my flesh bubbling and burning in the fucking Jehenim. Let's look at it like that. That's what I said. That's what I meant. You don't like it. Take it up with the most time. I said it. So what else about Sagittarius? What else can I can we learn? What else does Sagittarius need to know? Because nobody's holding hands. We walking out on faith. Apparently, we're walking out on faith. And your grace, and you're a healer. And the kindred card is here a couple times. And you come with pure intentions. I think you saw all this in a dream. Well, somebody's having a dream about you. Somebody, let me see. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody had to walk away from you, and you walked away from them for happiness. And you've been happy ever since with the sun. Some of you have a son through encounters like this, and it's no judgment. You dig, like some of you... You have, you have a beautiful bundle of joy that you can show up for, and that's worth, that is your peace of mind. That's worth making the effort to have a peace of mind. This could be somebody who has, who's bridging the gap between Scorpio and Sag. You can have them both in your chart, heavy aspected. But somebody, regardless about the Scorpio part, this is for Sagittarius, and they this is for people who have a lot of who have any planetary placement in Sagittarius and all 12 houses, north node, south node. This is for you. And I said what I said. And we said, eccentric said, forget who don't like it. Two of Wands. This is two sisters right here. Two firecrackers, or two sisters that have Sagittarius in their chart. Are we talking about who are at odds with each other? Two of Swords, that's a, wow. But the Two of Swords is here twice. And I see kindred spirits. And I see a public defender. So, reaping what you sow. Someone failed to defend the other one, or someone went out their way to humiliate the other one. And the other one feels like you didn't defend me. Someone wants to work out their differences. The star, a healer. Six of swords. Someone wants to move to calmer water. Someone wants to move away. 
and just build a life with just them and their sister. You see that? Someone wants to someone wants to heal, a, a relate, a connect, a, a bond. You have the tribe of kindred, and you have kindred spirits. Like y'all more alike than you are different. That's what it seemed like. Seeing that life took y'all in a lot of different directions, it could have pushed y'all apart. And now someone wants to travel closer to you or be closer to you. Public defender. Some okay. Someone is reaping what they sow because the other sibling is taking is taking a stand. One the with the it's because one of you is taking a stand or both of you is taking a stand against all the odds. So if for example, if you got relatives or people, one of you went through a spiritual awakening and just took off that in that direction. And people probably thought you were crazy for it. You just different. Okay. While the other is now going through a spiritual awakening and they're starting to defend you because they see you defending you and defending what you believe in. And they respect that. They, they don't challenge it. They don't call it. They don't think you're crazy for it. They think it's authentic. They think it's different. They see your evolution. They see your growth. King of Pentacles is here twice. Hmm. You got the King of Pentacles here twice. Six of Pentacles. I think that's wealth for both of you. I think y'all starting to match each other. Like you're starting to... It comes with healing. Because Pentacles talk about health. And I said something about mental health. Didn't I? Well, I talked about healing. But that's mental health. And physical health. So someone's nursing themselves back to health. Both of you are kind of mirroring each other with growing and evolving, taking accountability. Kings are masculine energy. So masculine means you take action. So both of y'all are going to be in a healthier space. Both of you are going to match. You seem to match each other because you got two kings of pentacle. And there's no arguing. Y'all don't fight. No fighting. No fighting. And Six of Cups is nostalgia anyway. Okay. Pleasure. Someone slept with their... Okay. Is that a rumor? Yeah, that's a rumor. That could be an ex. I think that's the ex by marriage. Having nostalgia. I don't know. But they've been trying to replace you ever since you left. That's what that is. Okay. So back to this. You got the King of Pentacles here twice. That's you, you and your sister going in the right, going in the same direction in life. It's going to bring y'all full circle. Then I look the world card. It's going to bring you full circle. And that's the the world is under the star. Those are major arcanas. What does that mean? Somebody's on a platform and somebody's traveling and someone's going. They got two cards about travel. Six of Swords is traveling, but Six of Swords is moving away from conflict too. It's moving away from anything that is that's a lack of peace of mind. Six of Swords is moving to calmer waters, moving to is being at peace. You see? Being at peace. No confusion. I don't know if y'all were confused about each other or it's just a lot of miscommunication, a lot of challenges. I feel like these two girls were met with a lot of challenges. Be your own hero. Someone's learning how to stand up for themselves, to be their own hero. You're teaching your sister how to be their own hero and they're following, they're watching you. They got tears in their eyes. You probably got tears in your eyes. Nine of Cups, under the Six of Swords. That is wish fulfillment. It's a pleasure. Someone sees you with a fresh set of eyes. They love that you're different. Oh, I love her. Somebody's in love with you. And it's like a, a relative type of, like a family orientation. Like, oh gosh, she's so fucking cool to me. But you always thought that. I carry your heart. I carry it in mine. Someone reached a peaceful resolution. A lot 
let them know, Sag. This is good. This is progress. Public defender. They trust you. Something about them knowing you're going to stand up and tell the truth no matter what. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups and the lovers often take you true to yourself. Someone wants to get honest with you. With the lovers is honest. Honest. Honesty, authenticity. It's not just about lovers, you know, like romantic partners. This isn't romantic to me, even though there's a twinge of that in here with previous marital, marital spouse. Doesn't matter though. You made this happen for yourself. Someone wants to get honest and reciprocate that same reciprocate that same respect. Like I all I come in peace. There you go. That's what it is. Get, get it together. Two of Swords that has the peace on it. I come in peace. I don't come in conflict. I'm not coming to argue. Someone sounds totally different than from when the last time you spoke to them. Completely different. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Somebody, this uh, it could be a mother figure, but this is nurturing accountability. But now you got a king and a queen of pentacles. But what I really feel like is this queen of pentacles is how they see you. They see your value. You up the ante. This is how they see you. But I see two people taking action because the king of pentacles is here twice. I see y'all matching each other. Yeah, I see it. But you know what? A lot of this defeats a lot of what people try to come up against y'all about. Someone's been having dreams about you. They wonder about you. They wonder about you. It's like, how are you doing? Like nobody's seen or heard from you in a while. They're manifesting you too with the magician, the world, and the star. Like we're going to heal this relationship before something happens to one or both of us. I think that someone's mother would love to see that too. But they see you in a healthy space. It's like I don't see anything off balance about anything. I see someone taking a lead. I see someone at peace. I see someone taking accountability. I see someone creating a, a, a blueprint or material. And I see someone moving forward, taking action with a strategy. They set goals for themselves. This is somebody who always made their contribution, okay? And people are starting to look up to you. Starting to, And you're starting to, this is a contribution to the community. You were able to give back. It's like, God was good to me. Now I can be good to other people. Wow. Checkmate. Game master. You outwitted somebody. You outsmarted somebody. It could be the devil. You outwitted the devil. But somebody see you doing your thing with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like giving back to the community. You make your contributions and all behind. You made, you did really good for yourself. Like you made an honest living. You ain't got to look over your shoulder. Someone's really proud of you with the the Queen of Pentacles are like mother figures. They're kind of watching you. Like, they see you. Like, she had it right the whole time. Yeah. You're the, you're the new Gusto. With the Orator. I'm sorry, the Orator. Communication, confidence. You, this motherfucker is bold. Like, the warrior, perfection, burnout. Like, I like it. Like, it's always nice to know somebody who's, a big deal. What do I mean when I say that? You look at these big celebs. Not everybody knows a big celeb. Not not every, not everybody grew up around this big celeb. Some people did, but you know, you know your self worth. So you're teaching it. You're not afraid. Like I feel like you're not arrogant about your success. I feel like you go back and do all kinds of like like acts of generosity. Like I feel like this is religious based. I feel like so much of it, this awakening. Is religious based in a way where the religion teaches you to feed into the community with your wealth, with whatever you can afford, so to speak. Like, it's very modest, you know? It's like for her to be as wealthy as she is, she's very modest. Public defender. Like, someone failed you and you turned it all around. You're a public defender. That could be an attorney of some sort, but either way, you you fight for other people. You fight for the cause of humanity. That's what all this sums up to be. Okay? 
Well, Sag, I like your opening reading because you're starting off on a spiritual strong foot with the spiritual journey and you're kicking a lot of unhealthy habits and the Ace of Swords is here, which is a helping hand of God. I think the Ace of Cups was here too. Yep. So someone's healing mental clarity. Swords is mental clarity. That's your intuition and your heart. So somebody's mentally in a good space about their loved ones and they will be moving forward and making peace and building a new life a new chapter these are new opportunities aces are second op second chance it's an opportunity to turn a lot of things that were they went that were like seem like they were destroyed to the point you can't rebuild it it didn't seem like it could be rebuilt it is it just seemed hopeless as at one time but you got the opportunity. Like not only will you have the mental clarity, so somebody's going to have closure, but you'll have emotional fulfillment. Like you're going to be so happy with how everything came full circle. Like it didn't look like it at first, but it's like, it reminds me of, again, with the temptations. The temptations, how they all separated, but they came back full circle. Okay? Through everything. And somebody was the rock through all of it with this queen of pentacles and continue to keep it together. Like you kept yourself together and people respect that about you. You're true to yourself and you talented and you don't let nobody tell you what you're doing is stupid. You let them feel stupid telling you what you're doing is stupid. I guess, I guess, I guess that's how it go. Okay. All right. You're not afraid to take risk. It almost seems a little naive with the full card. Okay. But you Malcolm X, your best. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I had to. And the Ace of Cups again. Okay. You telling God's truth. Somebody has that. Somebody is publicly defending you against people popping off at the fucking mouth. They go your, your, who is this? Page of Swords in reverse. The activist. Somebody who's got nothing but fucking mouth and talking shit. And somebody's publicly defending you. And it was a fail because they did not expect this person. They was agitating failure. They did not expect this person to come stand up for you. Like, what the fuck you expect? You dig? Like, you the one that's, that, that sound dumb. First of all, go watch a man. Go get a man. Watch a man. Then you can watch a mouth. You see these stats? You know what we are about. Do we come the fuck against you? Do we give two flying fucks about you? You and all your excessive neediness and your mental incapacities. You are decapitated at the mouth. Your mouth is rotten. Okay? You look like shit. You look stupid. This is somebody who's arrogant, who's a know-it-all, who fucked up against you. And guess who came through? Goddamn Queen of Wands. Okay? Fire energy. Aries. Sagittarius Leo, but this is a Sagittarius reading. So even if it is an Aries or a Leo, you've got Sag in your chart somewhere. Okay. This air, this queen of wands, this public defender. It's like, I want to see you do what they do. This motherfucker think they can do what you do because in the upright, it's the activist. It looked like a public speaker. The funny thing is you look like a public speaker until a real public speaker shows up. There we go. Scorpio. No, Scorpio's not here. This is Sag. Okay. There you go. Somebody got Scorpio and Sag in their chart. Mm hmm And Aries. Somebody's a whole ticking time bomb when you make them that way. When this this page of swords in reverse is arrogant, immature, know-it-all. This is a queen, okay? You look like a clown standing up to this public defender, okay? This motherfucker tells, tells the truth. Like, you're in love with this person. Like, everybody has a crush on this person. This, is a, this could be a woman doing this. <laughs> doing a man's job, like you dig, like... And somebody, somebody says something on your behalf against this motherfucker right here. Isn't that funny? Okay. And that's checkmate. Checkmate, bitch. The game master. Like somebody came through and it kind of like have everybody like, <gasps> I thought we were, I thought we was cool. I thought you was different. Let's not. Okay. Don't do that. Call a truce. Go sit the fuck down somewhere. Call a truce. 
okay? Because this ain't what you want, okay? Because this is a this, that was a, a manipulator, this magician in reverse. This is somebody who could do it both ways. This is sad we're talking about. This is, this is a dual-headed doctor. How you want to do this? We could do it the motivating, talented way, or we could do it your way. Because you talking a lot of shit right now. Like, how you want to do this? This is somebody who has no talent. This motherfucker has no talent when you put this together. Like, they talking out their ass. Like, blow steam out your ass. Okay? This is somebody who probably is strung out or something. Or probably still struggling through things themselves. To say it from an empathetic standpoint. They think they're you. They're not you. You see that? They kind of fucked up. That's alright. It's okay. It's like, nobody wants to hear that shit though. Like, things, some things just don't change. Some things don't change when you see these two come together. It's like, they went from fire and ice to fire and fire. Like, they're passionate. They healed. They grew. They love. Ace of, Ace of Cups is here like a bunch of times. Okay? Two Ace of Cups. So they, cut, they keep matching each other. And who's doing it? The Most High. Giving that mental clarity. It's like, whatever crooked, you try to... Go out there and speak against this person. You got to have sores to produce your truth. If you, Go produce your sores if you're truthful. But you'll never be able to do that. So you got to figure out what's triggering you about this person. Okay? You got you to pick that shit and you got to grab your nuts. Okay? This person is on a quest. Spiritual awakening. This, you are a catalyst for people's spiritual awakening. Your, divine, your guidance is divinely guided. You can talk a lot of shit eccentric. You know that? But you know what? It's the truth with the Ace of Swords here. Ace of Cups. Your vibration is rising. You're right uplifting humanity. You're birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Like you really brought some shit into fruition that if you said it in the conversation, it's like, well, you dream big, okay? But if you could dream it, you, you know, you can do it. You answered the call. If God told you to do something, you went and did it. You didn't stand back on your heels. What is your soul calling you to do? You got to be honest. It's the initiation, okay? You took that oath, that rise of passage. You crossed the threshold. It's like, I can't live here in fucking poverty. Hell no. That does not look nice with my pearls. Like, that's just not pretty. I have a double mission. I know who I am, okay? Princess Diana, okay? Like that. Like what? What the hell they do with the thing with the rolling up the tongue in that song? Okay, I know who I am. Okay, and double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. Like, don't try to say the the, the, the tongue thing. Like the way they for, for um, they do the chorus, keep it a stack, something like that. I don't know. I'm not gonna chop up the lyrics. Okay, but I quote Nicki Minaj a lot. You notice that she's a sag, warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Quite literally. Okay. What they, what they say about you. How are you being called to step up? This priest is like, you're way too intelligent. You're way too smart to let them beat you. You released a lot of soul patterns, okay? Contracts, past lives. Nobody got time for that shit. Like, cut them off. But because you trust, that's hard, you know? You got an open heart. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? But you're the philosopher. You know, you will take that spiritual journey with no apologies, and you're playful about it. It's been fun. You celebrate all the experiences. Don't be so serious. Celebrate. It's not the destination. It's the journey. And you, you had a lot of fun along the way. So you te this, at the moral of it is you got grounded. Empath, highly sensitive. You connect You know, with nature. You're already doing it. You don't have to overthink it. You keep facing your north node, okay? And then your sisters are returning to you in that same energy with that priestess, that mystic, that teacher, that beauty, that devotion. They match because they do exactly as you teach them because you share your voice. You came out of the cave, persecution, expression. you damn right. This could be a whole alcohol anonymous meeting, narcotics anonymous meeting. Like you should, wherever your platform is, wherever you have the support, Okay, with the Sisterhood of Rose, you share your voice. You can be on a pl any kind of platform. It's more than just the internet, okay? Okay, how can you mother yourself? How have you mothered yourself? Where is somebody's mother when they walking around like this, when that's sadistic shit, looking stupid, okay? They look kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, if I say so myself, pray for them. It's 
Cedric, don't talk shit about people's kids like that. It's true. Where, where they at? Okay, that's enough. Okay, sitting there looking like Boo Boo the fool, fucking up against you. You reap what you sow. That was a fail. You dropped the ball. That's what you look like standing next to the public defender, standing next to Sag. Okay, and look who it is. Look at that. That safari cat standing next to that public defender. That's right. That's them. So it all comes back around, and people can't do nothing but eat their words. Yeah, that's, this is somebody, page of swords in reverse is a know-it-all, but they have to eat their words. Congratulations, Sagittarius. I think they got the point. You ain't got to slow down for nobody, for, for nobody to catch up. That's, that's on them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.